Okay. okay. Welcome, Welcome in, everyone, in, everyone, here to West Virginia, Virginia State, State University, University, where we are here, here for the MEC Conference, Conference Tournament getting, getting underway this, this morning. I'm Chris Kidd here with you, courtside, from the Yellow Jacket Arena, Arena as both Fairmont State, State and, and Charleston, Charleston getting ready to do battle in our first of four matches here, here this morning. morning. As we will complete all quarterfinal action here this morning, have semifinals tomorrow along with the finals on Saturday to crown the EEC Conference champion here for the 2023 season. As both these teams coming in here on different paths as Charleston 24 and 9 on the season, while Fairmont State coming in at 17 and 14 on the year. With Charleston winning the matchup. Earlier this year, three sets to two with a 15 to 10 final set score against this Fairmont club. So Fairmont knows, even though they are the underdog coming in here, that they can play with this Charleston team. They're going to try and spring the upset and move into the semis tomorrow at 2.30 p.m. against either Top Seed Willing or Frostburg upcoming. Now we're getting set for the playing of our national anthem, so let's listen in. We are getting set for action here from West Virginia State University between Fairmont State and Charleston. As we will step aside for a quick break and be back with the start of the first serve here from West Virginia State University as you're watching the Mountain East Conference tournament with us right here on Video Productions and the MEC Network.
I was just gonna say if you can like count Welcome back, everybody, here to West Virginia State University. Chris Kidd with you as we are getting set for our first of four games here today from the Yellow Jacket Arena as Fairmont State 
and Charleston ready to do battle to try and get into the semifinals against either Willing or Frostburg tomorrow at 2.30. That'll be our second game. It's Willing and Frostburg. And at 5 p.m. tonight, we have West Virginia State University facing off against Notre Dame. Then we have West Liberty and Concord at 7.30 p.m. in our final quarterfinal here tonight. And West Virginia State University and Willing looked at, looking like the two top teams as they won the North Division and the South Division, respectively. These two teams, Charleston finishing second in the South Division, while Fairmont finishing third in the North Division. But again, Fairmont had the upset win over Charleston earlier this year, back on October 14th, winning three sets to two. That was one of only four conference losses on the season for this Charleston club as Charleston will serve things to get us started here this afternoon. We're glad you're with us here on the MEC Network as Killer Kemp blocked up at the net, retrieved by Charleston. Back over top into the middle, Fairmont able to keep it alive. Back over far side, little touch attempt blocked back over nicely and kept in by Charleston as getting that put away looked like the Regan McLean out of Georgetown, Kentucky and went to Marshall University in high school and Charleston on the board first one to nothing. And serving it in the play will be Maria Hernandez. There's a lot, low line drive able to creep over. No touch attempt over the net and not able to return back. Is Charleston and Fairmont on the board as Emma Ludwig able to get the put away. Ludwig having a strong season for this Fairmont club. First attempt at the serve for Fairmont. Kill attempt on the far side and just clipped the side. And no, now they switch it and they say it missed wide. But Charleston was celebrating as if they put it away at first. But Fairmont gets the point and a quick two to one lead here. Again, we go to 25 in each set. Winner has to be ahead by two. If it goes to a third in deciding set, then it'll be a race to 15 to see who advances. Kill attempt right into the middle, put away that time nicely by Sage Burnson, and Burnson, first team all MESC this season for the University of Charleston. And she was named an AVCA All-Region Athlete, which was also a first for the University of Charleston this season. Chance here for Fairmont Senior. Kill attempt on the far side, not being able to block it back and put away on the far side by Ellie Zuro, freshman for Fairmont. And this is a young Fairmont club. Six of the seven Fairmont players in Coach Hinkle's starting lineup are either freshmen or sophomores this season. Strong serve to the back line, worked up the kill zone, kill attempt blocked up at the net. Now a chance for Fairmont still the point far side. This one blocked back into the air by Libero. Now over near side, McLean, her attempt goes right into the net. And Fairmont has the first bit of separation here in this first set, leading it four to two. It'll be Josie Skeen to serve it into play. Skeen also a first team all MEAC member this season. Strong serve to the back line, worked up front now to the far side. Kill attempt, oh, strong block by Skeen that time. That was a line drive right at her, right into the middle. Nice save that time. They work it back deep and not able to get there. Is Fairmont as Joey Burrell tried to get that back into play, but to no avail. Serve goes back over to Charleston, trailing at four to three here in this opening set. It'll be served into play by PSC. Selke, excuse me. Selke takes a long approach, puts it in short, and it's going to go into the net. And tried to catch Fairmont off guard that time with a short attempt. Instead, comes back to bite Charleston, and Fairmont retrieves their two point lead. It'll be Kelsey Dangerfield back to serve. Local product out of Shady Spring, West Virginia. Now Fairmont showing a different alignment here. Dangerfield ready now. Serves it in the middle and it's unable to be handled that time off the hands of Riley Hoff. And point over to Fairmont. Now they've taken a six to three lead here in the opening set, and Hoff, strong player all year for Charleston. Again, all freshman team 
this year in the NEC Conference and another strong serve. Unable to be returned by Charleston in Dangerfield. Let's put the Falcons out to a quick 7-3 lead here in the opening set. Dangerfield again serves. Up ahead, Charleston works it into the middle. Kill attempt, blocked back into play. Chance here for Fairmont to build on their lead. Kill attempt, blocked back over. Nice save that time by Charleston. Set up again at net, and this time it is put away. It could be Natalie Zimba out of Chardon, Ohio, who had that kill. Dangerfield will serve it into play once again. Charleston trying to get served back on their side here as it's been four consecutive points for Fairmont working the far side. Kill attempt blocked back over. Hernandez serves it up to McLean. Her attempt blocked, saved though up at net. Another attempt from McLean. This one blocked back into the air. Into the middle, now over the far side. This one blocked up at net, saved into play. Over far side, that's going to miss wide of the mark. Long point goes to Fairmont, and that's now five consecutive points. And Charleston has seen enough as Coach Tyler Canelo's calls for time. We're going to step aside for a quick break and be back after this as you're watching the MEC tournament with us right here on MEC TV. What are you working for? Do you want to pursue your athletic potential while earning a degree that will benefit you for a lifetime? Do you want to play at the highest level in your sport? Do you want to be a champion? That's what the proud members of the Mountain East Conference are advancing toward every day. Providing opportunities and pursuing excellence. The Mountain East Conference. Being a champion takes more than skill, more than endless drills, more than using your head. Being a champion takes the heart to give it your all, the agility to thrive from any angle, and the relentless drive to be the best. Welcome to Division Two, where the pursuit is yours to create, and the question isn't, can you do it? It's will you. and string together some points here to climb back into this set. But so far, Fairmont has raced out to a five-point lead. McLean serves it deep. Miller tries to pop it up, but no one home that time for Fairmont. And an easy point goes the way of Charleston for the first time in a while here. Excuse me, Burnson on that serve. Again, Burnson takes the back line again, the first team. All-conference player for Charleston. Back over the far side. Kill attempt blocked up at net nicely that time by UC. Is in the area. Is Emma Shepard along with Hernandez to cut the lead to three now as Burnson takes the back line once again. And this could be the run that UC's looking for here in this opening set. This one served into the middle, working far side. Going up, smash down the line, and they're going to say that that one caught. So again, kill attempt is successful for Fairmont. We couldn't see the call from our vantage point at first, but Fairmont now back 
with a four-point lead. Serving will be Natalie Zimba. Looking into the kill zone this time, smashed down the line, and they say no, another one missing wide of the mark. For UC, that's the fourth missed on a kill attempt here in this first set. For Charleston as Hoff couldn't find the angle. And Simba goes back to serve once again. Nice low serve, worked up top into the middle. Now far side, that one off the hands. Of defenders up at net for Fairmont. And you see back serving, trailing at 12 to eight. So look at Shepard, serving into play. Shepard out of Plain City, Ohio. High toss, and she puts a rocket down the line, but misses over towards the far side, and that'll give it back over to Fairmont again. That one was pummeled by Shepard. Just couldn't find the line she was looking for. It's Fairmont back to serve. It's Jayana Bur Burrow set to serve. Out of Pickerington, Ohio. Transferred from Queen City, North Carolina. She'll serve this one low towards the near side. Now into the middle and whistle and into the net. Goes Charleston and that gives Fairmont. Matches their largest lead of this first set now at 14 to eight. And Fairmont showing different alignments up at net as well. Trying to give UC something to think about. They work at near side, kill attempt far side, and they say yes, this time it does catch. A great spike that time by Hoff. Gets her on the board for her first kill of the afternoon. Hoff had 177 kills on the season, which is fourth on the team. Hernandez set to serve. Out of Santa Fe Community College. Gets it back. Miller able to pop it in the air. Burrow over far side. Now a long kill attempt. This one blocked back into the air over near side. This one popped into the air. Hoff couldn't put it away as Miller with a great save. Now over near side. Just having to bump this back into play. Set up attempt here for UC over near side. Hoff's attempt blocked once again into the air. Now an opportunity for Fairmont. This one blocked but misses wide of the mark. And Fairmont takes another long point. And takes a 15-9 lead. Zero able to get enough on that to cause the deflection from the University of Charleston. It'll be Burrell. The Borelli back to serve. In the middle, this one put away nicely. Right into the center that time. They worked it. Looked to be McLean that time on the kill. 15 to 10 now, Fairmont leads it, looking to take an opening set lead here. Again, the only meeting between these two on the season went the distance, all five sets, with Fairmont coming out on top. And that one's gonna be a low miss that time. Again, it looked like Josie Knob just lost track of where she was. You couldn't really gauge the distance on where she needed to bump that to. You see closes the gap to four. Another serve into the middle. This one knocked up in the air nicely by Skeen. Now far side, nice kill over again. And Zero gets another. And now 16 to 11 lead for Fairmont. That's something that's been done very well so far here in the first set by Fairmont. They've not allowed UC to get on any sort of a run. They haven't strung together any more than two consecutive points so far in this first set. Now a tough attempt here. It's just going to be bumped back into the middle. Another opportunity for Fairmont. Sets it up near side. Nice block into the air that time. Keeping the life for UC. Now here's Burnson. Her attempt. Nice save that time. But no, they're going to say point over to UC. That was a tough attempt for Skeen, but she's been phenomenal so far here in the first set. For Fairmont. He still holds it four for the Falcons. So it goes over to the far left. Now back in the middle. Touch attempt. Saved into the air that time. Chance here for UC to close the gap. But a nice block up at net against Fairmont. Been so good so far here in the first set. Up at net as Zimba. Gets another block. And 
and leads, holds at five for the Falcons. Seven kills here in the first set for Charleston, six to Fairmont. Long deep serve, pushes UC back and over the near side, burns him with a head of steam, can't put it away. Now a chance here, the scheme. Pops it over far side. Long kill attempt that hits the top of the net. The point goes over to UC. You can see it here in our replay again. Quick action up at net. Just couldn't get that setup attempt up far enough that time. It was a tough kill attempt, but still gone after anyway. There's Avila. Pops it into the middle, now over the far side. Kelly Trent blocked it net, but that's going to miss off the mark. It's Knob. A strong push that time, and able to give the five-point lead back over to Fairmont. And UC's just not been able to put any sort of a dent in this lead for the Falcons in this opening set once they grabbed it early on. Miller, line drive attempt, puts off the net. Over the far side now, kill down the line. Going to miss wide of the mark yet again. That is another missed attempt, another error for UC here in this first set. Miller, strong serve into the middle, goes far side, set up. Strong attempt by Burnside, but she'll miss into the net. And the errors piled up here in this first set for UC in a timeout. The score 20 to 13 in favor of Fairmont. We'll be back right after this as you're watching the MEC tournament with us right here on Video Productions and the MEC TV Network. Choosing health coverage for your family, your employees, and your company is one of the most important decisions you can make. The health plan proudly supports our active and healthy communities and has been your most trusted carrier for over 40 years. We are here for your family. We are here for your business. We'll be here for you when you need us most because your health coverage is our priority. The health plan, here for you. I'm, I'm Keith Powell, and, and going on, on right, right now, now is my Keith Yes Fest. I'm, I'm saying yes, yes to lowering your payments, yes, yes to your trade-in, trade regardless, regardless of condition, condition miles, even, even if you're still, still making payments. payments. My, my Keith says yes, credit approval process helps me say yes, yes you're approved. approved. So, so if you, you want, want new Chevy, yes, new Ford, yes, lifetime warranty, yes. Come see me, Keith Powell, yes Chevy and Hurricane, and yes Ford in Huntington. Fairmont looking to close in on this first set, leading at 20 to 13. Chris Kidd with you here this afternoon from West Virginia State University, but Miller misses into the net. That's a couple of consecutive points went Fairmont's way, but that's her second miss into the net while serving here in this first set. Charleston needs to try and find some momentum and find it quickly here as Burnson serves at far side. Now they're working over. Save attempt by Burnside, gives UC a chance here. Burnside, long attempt from the middle. Just able to push it back deep as Fairmont works it up. A little short attempt that time, nicely done by Burrell, finding no man's land in that UC defense for a put away and a 21 to 14 lead now. Serve into the middle. Now trying to push it over quickly to catch Fairmont off guard. It's no avail. Now strong attempt. Nicely blocked back into the air by Avila. Chance here for UC, but Miller able to save it. And these long points have gone Fairmont's way so far. And this one will as well as that one's going to go off the hands of Chloe Fortner. And this is the largest lead now of the opening set for Fairmont at 22 to 14. O-ring will serve it at the head. Quick strike attempt, but blocked up into the air. Dangerfield able to save it. Now about that far side, Burrell gets it into the middle. Burns and able to save it. Now over near side. Smash is put away that time by Hoff. You see again here on our instant replay. And Burnson able to set up Hoff on that far side and just too strong on that put away. But Fairmont. 
Just three points away from claiming the opening set in this single elimination 18 tournament. Shepard with another strong serve, but once again saved here by Fairmont. Far side, this work back into the air. Trying to set it up along the far end. This one blocked right towards us. And out of play. The point goes over to UC. So again, that's about as close to the action as I want to get today. Again, it's been a while since I've attempted any sort of volleyball. In grade school, I wasn't that much better at it either. Now Shepard lines it up, another serve that comes in at 100 miles an hour, basically, and able to get the soft roll off the net for the ace. Now Fairmont wants to talk things over, as you see, has put a little bit of a dent into this lead, but Fairmont just three points away from claiming the opening set. We'll be back after this break as you're watching the MEC tournament right here on the MEC television network. What are, what are you, you working, working for? for? Do you Do want you to pursue, pursue your athletic potential while earning a degree that will benefit you for a lifetime? lifetime? Do you, you want, want to play at the highest level in your sport? sport? Do you, you want, want to be a champion? champion? That's, That's what, what the, the proud, proud members, members of the Mountain, Mountain East Conference, Conference are advancing are toward every, every day. day. Providing, Providing opportunities, opportunities and, and pursuing, pursuing excellence. excellence. The, the Mountain, Mountain East Conference. Conference. Being a champion takes more than skill, more than endless drills, more than using your head. Being a champion takes the heart to give it your all, the agility to thrive from any angle, and the relentless drive to be the best. Welcome to Division Two, where the pursuit is yours to create. And the question isn't, can you do it? It's will you. Twenty-two to seventeen, Fairmont leads it here late in the first set. A Shepard set to serve again. Another strong serve sets up an easy put away up at net, and Shepard has helped bring UC back here in this late stages of the first set. As you see it again here, that strong serve. Miller able to control it, but just couldn't set anyone up with it. And Shepard, she leads UC in aces this year with sixty-eight. Far and away the highest total on the club. There's a smash into the middle, but just going to miss long. And that gives Fairmont back a five-point lead, two points away from claiming the first set. And it's best out of five to determine a winner, and it'll be Burrow back to serve here for the Falcons. She claimed a couple of points earlier in this set on her serve. She'll serve it soft towards the near side, set it up into the middle, now over far side, kill down the line, blocked by Skeen, but right towards Eager Hoff, who puts it away. And you see back to within four. And you see Steen with a nice block that time, but just too much action on it. Couldn't keep it on her side to set a teammate up. Now you see trying to close this back to three. Hernandez serves into the middle. Steen sets it up nicely over far side. Put it away down the line, and it is there once again for Zero. It is now set point for Fairmont. They've got a handful of them to take a one set to none lead. It'll be Burrell. She'll serve into the middle. Burnsy puts it over far side. Touch of Kemp. Skeen able to save it. Chance here. Zero taps it over. Defense is there for UC. Over near side. Smash is blocked up at net. And they're going to say into the net was UC. And point and set goes to Fairmont State University. They lead it one set to nothing here in this best of five. We'll step aside for a break and be back for set number two right after this as you're watching the MEC Volleyball Quarterfinals with us right here live on the MEC Television Network. In, in life, life, things, things aren't, aren't scripted. scripted. If you're, if you're an, an athlete, athlete, we need people, people like, like you and, and translate, translate. Those, those skills, skills to, to officiate. officiate. You can get a lot, a lot out of it. It, it happens, happens in, in every town, town in, in every, every game. game. We never have a perfect game, game. But, but the rewards, rewards always, always outweigh the negativities. Champion. 
Choosing health coverage for your family, your employees, and your company is one of the most important decisions you can make. The Health Plan proudly supports our active and healthy communities and has been your most trusted carrier for over 40 years. We are here for your family. We are here for your business. We'll be here for you when you need us most because your health coverage is our priority. The Health Plan, here for you. In NCAA Division II, community engagement is an initiative at all 25 national championships because student-athletes want to give back while competing for a national title. Over the course of the year, Division II student-athletes have an opportunity to leave a lasting impression in local communities throughout the country. Whether Division II student-athletes are volunteering at hospitals, schools, after-school care programs, foster homes, or retirement villages, they make a difference in the lives of others. In Division II, we rise to the opportunity and make community engagement ours. What are, what are you, you working, working for? for? Do, you Do you want to pursue, pursue your athletic, athletic potential while earning a degree, degree that will benefit you for a lifetime? lifetime? Do you, you want, want to play at the highest level in your sport? sport? Do you, you want, want to be a champion? champion. That's, That's what, what the proud, proud members, members of the Mountain, Mountain East Conference, Conference are advancing toward every day. Providing, providing opportunities, opportunities and pursuing, pursuing excellence. The, the Mountain, Mountain East Conference. Conference. Welcome back, everybody, to West Virginia State University, home of the 2023 MEC Volleyball Championships. Chris Kidd with you here this afternoon for our first contest, Fairmont State claiming the opening set, 25-19. to They took the regular season contest between these two in October, three sets to two. It was one of only four conference losses for UC all season finishing 11 and four in the conference and second in their division. Overall, Fairmont comes in here with a 17 and 14 overall mark and finished third in the North Division. They were eight and six in the North this season and they were ranked ninth in the Atlantic Regional Rankings. But they have won their final two matches coming in here against Salem and Frostburg to build a little bit of momentum in this tournament. Now trying to send UC home for this 2023 year. Now both teams have flipped sides. Let's see if UC is able to respond here. Again, Fairmont claimed the early lead in the opening set and never relinquished it with a quick flurry. And UC was never to get any closer than within four after they built as much as an eight-point lead in that opening set. Burrow serves it into play to get things started. Now makes a save as Skeen sets it up far side. Smash attempt off the hands of Burnson and put away. Once again, Borelli able to get the kill. Now Burrow able to go back to serve once again from the back line. Just puts it in far side. Hernandez sets it up into the middle. McLean hits it back deep, and that one does catch the back line. Excuse me, that was Hoff on that attempt. Able to put it away, and now she'll go back to serving. And Fairmont, hoping against Hope, that was going to find its way out. But it just clips, and now Hoff tied things up here early in the second set. She'll go back to serve. She'll come in deep, and that one's going off the hand. Steen's going to have a long attempt here. Just going to try and get this one back over. They bump it back. Now you see, trying to take a quick lead here in the second set, and they do. Set up nicely up at net to Regan McLean, who's able to get the put away, and you see that claims a two to one edge. McLean had 122 kills on the season. Now Hoff will serve once again. Burrow sets it up in the middle, long attempt. That one's going to miss, it looks like, this wide of the mark. No, they're going to say caught instead. So Fairmont able to tie things up two to two. Again, UC was celebrating as if it had gone wide at first. But instead, all tied up. They go near side. There's a strong attempt. And put away by Selkie. And Selkie also received AVCA All-American honors last year making her the first AVCA All-American 
in UC history. So she makes her presence known here early in the second set. Over near side, Zero had a strong first set and starts out strong here in the second set. That's her fifth kill now of the match. She ties things up at three apiece here early in the second set. Out of the scheme, back to serve for Fairmont State. And then she gets a strong one off. Tough attempt here for you. See, they're able to get it back over. Now Fairmont, the one struggling with it. Zero gets it back over. Hernandez saves it. Now Fortner works it forward. Bernson smash into the middle. This is going to be tough. And right up at net, Bernson able to reach over and put it away. Charleston now leads it four to three. Here is the trade points early on in the second set. It'll be Avila, serving in the play for UC out of Cleveland, Ohio. Should hit it back deep. Another tough attempt here for Skeen. Gets it up nicely. Zero is just going to work it back as deep as she can. Now set up over near side. Smash attempt for Shepard and just going to miss long. And Shepard, she's all power and all or nothing. Just missed on that smash attempt. And now we're even at four apiece. We'll send Dangerfield back to serve for Fairmont. She had a nice little run in the first set of points early on. Now Shepard goes right back to it, and this time Dangerfield not able to control it. And Shepard just puts everything she has into the ball whenever she goes up for it. And she'll claim her second kill of the afternoon. Back over to Charleston at five to four. Burnson steps into a serve, gets it back deep, worked up front now into the kill zone. Smash right up at net, put away easily for the Falcons as Zimba able to claim her second kill of the afternoon. And we're all even at five apiece. Again, this is about the stage in the first set that Fairmont made their move to widen their lead earlier on. It's Miller. Pops one back deep, Burnson sets it up into the net. A little touch attempt, blocked back up by Dangerfield. Skeen sets it up near side. This one blocked up at net, but missing wide of the mark. Varelli, another strong right hand into that one. A good setup that time by Skeen. In order to cause that to go wide of the mark, hit it right off the right arm of the blockers that time for UC. Over near side, Hoff, her attempt blocked up at net. Chance here for Fairmont. Set it up far side, blocked into the net. Now still on Fairmont's side to work it over near side for Borelli. Her attempt blocked, and that one's going to miss wide of the mark. So Borelli, back to back smashes. Able to give Fairmont now the first breathable room for either side. That's a six kill for Borelli here in this match. Deep serve to Fortner, set up into the middle. Now over near side, Shepard once again, big smash, but blocked up at net. Another opportunity here for UC. They go far side and once again blocked, but that one's going to miss wide. It's Hoff once again there for a strong put away. Now it'll be Shepard back to serve. And she, she leads the team in serve. She actually had the most aces in the entire MEC conference on the year. Another big smash, but controlled by Steam, but can't put it away up at net. And point over to UC. That evens us up at seven apiece now. Again, you can see the velocity Shepard's able to get. And Zimba just not able to poke that one over. Shepard once again gets a big <laughs> run and go into it and just not able to control it as Borelli. I'll be honest, I have an Emma Shepard serve coming at me. I'm running for the bleachers right now. So, girls from Fairmont, a lot braver than I would be seeing this <laughs> the serve coming at them. Shepard, toss in the air once again, and once again with another strong serve. They're able to get it back over, though, as Fairmont after a couple of ricochets. Now over near side, Selkie able to put it away. And now UC has claimed the last four points, and they take a 9-7 lead, and that'll draw a timeout from Fairmont. 
We'll be back in 60 seconds as you're watching the MEC Volleyball Tournament with us right here live on the MEC Television Network. Choosing health coverage for your family, your employees, and your company is one of the most important decisions you can make. The health plan proudly supports our active and healthy communities and has been your most trusted carrier for over 40 years. We are here for your family. We are here for your business. We'll be here for you when you need us most because your health coverage is our priority. The health plan, here for you. In NCAA Division II, student athletes leave a lasting impression on their communities. That's because Division II student athletes want to make a difference and truly be part of their surrounding communities. Through community engagement, thousands of student athletes from various backgrounds interact with community members who view them as role models. This interaction leaves a positive and perhaps even life-changing impression on all those involved. In Division II, we rise to the opportunity and make community engagement ours. Nine to seven UC here in set number two. Fairmont claiming the opening set. Shepard still at the serve. She's claimed four consecutive points for UC. Make it five as Borelli misses short end of the net. And Emma Shepard has taken over this second set now. As we said, she's the leader in aces in this conference with 68 on the year. She's second in service aces per set. Another big smash scheme, just puts her body in front of it, blocks it up, Borelli now back to Miller, they'll just have to pop it back deep. Shepard will work it up ahead, into the middle, now far side, kill attempt down the line, and they say missed wide that time, so that ends the string of points for UC, and more importantly for Fairmont, they get Emma Shepard off the service line. Not 10 to 8 in favor of UC, trying to even things up here in the second set after UC claimed the first. Simba to the back line. Burnson works it up ahead, now near side. Smash attempt, block back over, and Fairmont able to climb back to within one with some strong defense that time. In the first set, just looking at it again, it was 11 to 10 in favor of Charleston with kills, but it was errors that really hurt UC. Nine errors, only four for Fairmont is blocked, but they're going to say point over to UC that time. And the lead back up to two. He's checking out now for UC is Hernandez. Side, trying to go up as Borelli gets it off the hands of a defender and they say touch the ground. As Hernandez made a diving attempt to try and keep that point alive. Really, that was a tough one. Actually, it went right off the net. Popped over top of both blockers that time. It's an unfortunate break for UC. Fairmont now will send Burrow back to serve. Trying to even things up here. It's been a tight second set the whole way. In the middle, a little shove attempt that time by Hoff. Goes to Skeen. Now over near side, Borelli can't put this one away. Opportunity here into the middle, Burnson. Smash attempt blocked by Burrow. Now Skeen sets it up far side. Little touch attempt, and that'll work. For the White Falcons, and we're all even again to 11 apiece. We see it here in our instant replay again. It was zero. Able to find the opening in the defense. As Fortner made a good attempt there, the freshman out of Burlington, Kentucky, to try and save it. As Fairmont trying to reclaim the lead here. Tough attempt here. Hernandez able to save it, and now a little sidearm bump that time, but able to be saved over to Borelli. Her smash now back over towards the near side. Smash this one won't be able to be saved by Burnson. And now Fairmont has claimed the last three points. So it's all back and forth between the two to open this set. Now we've seen a string of runs on both sides. Approaches, gets it back deep, Burnson sets it up, into the middle, smashed by Hoff, put away. Riley Hoff, the freshman, out of California. Able to get her sixth kill now of the afternoon as her and McLean have six apiece here in the first set and a half. But there's a strong serve off the hands. 
of Fairmont. And Hoff gives Charleston the lead back at 13 to 12. Hoff had 25 service aces on the season for UC. And he's going to have to work this one back into play. Opportunity now for UC into the middle. Hoff fakes it, smashed by Burnson, blocked back. Set up Burnson again. Just push this one into the middle scheme. Sets it up near side. Borelli, her she's blocked up at net. And Selkie and McLean there to block the path of Borelli. And a 14 to 12 edge as you see now has claimed the last three points. It'll be Hoff back to serve. Line drive towards the far side, and this is wide of the mark. Fairmont will get it back, trailing by one. Torelli will serve. She had a Norton, Ohio sophomore for this Fairmont club. A strong game so far. Serve comes back deep, and Fortin a good eye that time. Laid off of it. Back to back missed serves on both sides. Bring Selkie to the service line. Again, this UC team leads the conference in aces with 116 coming in here today. Selkie, strong one. Borelli able to dig it out. Now to the middle. Smash knocked into the air by Hoff. Now back near side. Shepard goes at it with another cannonball and able to put it away. And UC has their largest lead of the day now. And either set at 16 to 13. And then Shepard, just so much power no matter where she's at on the floor. And Selkie back to serve once again. Skeen drops it, gets it forward. Borelli tries to tap it over and just a miss hit that time from Hoff. And she was trying to bump it up into the air. Fairmont hits a cheapie that time. And it looked like she may have even saw Shepard out of the corner of her eye there at the end, which maybe caused that miscommunication. Right, miss hit. The scheme will serve it into the middle, and once again, miscommunication as Hoff and Fortner both kind of eyeing each other that time. And again, Josie Scheme, she had a tremendous season. She was selected the MEC Defensive Player of the Week twice. And she leads the conference in digs per set at 5.27. Burnson skips it back over, now over near side. Zero, she's blocked, but that's going to miss wide. And Fairmont's battled back from three down to tie things up. Again, talking about her dig total scheme, it's the third highest out of a Division II player this year. And she had 42 service aces coming into this, which is the eighth highest total in the league. She had eight aces, which was career high last week against Salem, and she'll get another opportunity here. Fairmont now with four in a row has claimed the lead back at 17 to 16 once Charleston looked like they had all the momentum. Again, getting late here in the second set, a one set to nothing lead already for Fairmont. Working up far side, Shepard, this time she'll tap it over, but Burrow there, Skeen sets it up. Zero goes after it and she'll smash it right down the line. Five points in a row now for Fairmont. And that's going to lead to a timeout here for UC as they see this second step starting to slip away and don't want to go down two sets to zero. We'll be back in 60 seconds as you're watching the MEC Volleyball Championships right here on the MEC Television Network. What are you working for? Do you want to pursue your athletic potential while earning a degree that will benefit you for a lifetime? Do you want to play at the highest level in your sport? Do you want to be a champion? That's what the proud members of the Mountain East Conference are advancing toward every day. Providing opportunities and pursuing excellence. The Mountain East Conference. Choosing health coverage for your family, your employees, and your company is one of the most important decisions you can make. The health plan proudly supports our active and healthy communities and has been your most trusted carrier for over 40 years. We are here for your family. We are here for your business. We'll be here for you when you need us most. 
Because your health coverage is our priority. The Health Plan, here for you. Back here at West Virginia State University, Chris Kidd with you here for the MEC Volleyball Championships quarterfinal action. Our first of four games today, and here in the second set, it's been nip and tuck the entire way. And that smash attempt down the line by Shepard brings Charleston back to within one at 18 to 17. So now it'll be Abby Avila back to serve for UC and low serve and not able to control it that time was Knob who had to go down low to try and dig it out and that ties things up at 18 apiece. And the second set so important to UC. Trying to tie things up and nice eye that time by Knob. She was ready to try and block that up and ended up seeing it was trailing just a little at the end. And this is wide of the mark to get Fairmont the lead back. It'll be Dangerfield back to serve. She'll serve it right into the middle. This one's going to carry over the net. Chance there for Fairmont, unable to capitalize. Now another block up at the net. Wow, what a job up there. Looked like it was Zimba, and it was. It was able to block that back as that was caught right in between at the net and good hands that time as her and Hernandez went up at the same time and Zimba with just the size advantage able to put it away. Fortner unable to control this one. Saved though nicely that time by Hoff. I don't know how she was able to get that back. Chance though for Fairmont tapped over. Shepard gets it back over. Now Dangerfield sets it up far side. Smash blocked up at net and it'll go to Fairmont. A long tough grueling point and the White Falcons come away with it along with a three-point lead at 21 to 18. Timeout UC. We'll be back in 60 seconds as you're watching the MEC Volleyball Championships right here on the MEC Television Network. Being a champion takes more than skill, more than endless drills, more than using your head. Being a champion takes the heart to give it your all, the agility to thrive from any angle, and the relentless drive to be the best. Welcome to Division Two, where the pursuit is yours to create. And the question isn't, can you do it? It's will you. I'm Keith Powell, and going on right now is my Keith Says Yes Fest. I'm saying yes to lowering your payments. Yes to your trade-in, regardless of condition, miles, even if you're still making payments. My Keith Says Yes credit approval process helps me say yes, you're approved. So if you want new Chevys, yes. New Fords, yes. Lifetime warranty, yes. Come see me, Keith Powell, at Yes Chevy and Hurricane, and Yes Ford in Huntington. Welcome back everybody, Chris Kidd with you, here from the University of West Virginia State. With Fairmont up by three, trying to take a two set to nothing lead. And now they are one point closer as Shepard misses long on the kill attempt. And Fairmont, just as they did in the first set, having a run, putting them in position to try and upset UC for the second time this season. Near side Shepard, another smash attempt. And that one's going to sell wide too, it looked like at first. Then the officials discussing it, and now they're going to say point to Fairmont. Again, the far side official you see is pointing at, trying to say that that clipped. And now Bernson having a conversation with a head umpire here right in front of us. Again, it's a tough angle from where it was. Again, we'll see if we can get that up for you in a moment to see if we can maybe make a good call on where that came. Again, Shepard hit, hit it so hard along the far side. UC thought they claimed the point. Fairmont, the minute was out. And Fairmont wins the argument. It's Dangerfield. Gets it over Hernandez. Her smash attempt does connect. And a much needed point for UC. As Fairmont just two points away from taking a two set to nothing lead. Burns and she's going to have to go on a run here and try and get UC back into this set. Into the middle. Pop back up. Zimba blocked up at net, but it goes into the net. And now 
just as set number one went a handful of set points for the White Falcons. It was 25 to 19 Fairmont in the first set. A chance to duplicate that here in the second set. Miller serves it. Fortner able to block it. Over far side, down the line, and they say no. Set goes to Fairmont. And the underdogs coming in at 17 and 14 on the season against the 24 and 9 UC Charleston Club. Has a two set to nothing lead as we head to set number three. We'll step aside for a break and be back after this as you're watching the MEC Volleyball Championships with us right here live on the MEC Television Network. Choosing health coverage for your family, your employees, and your company is one of the most important decisions you can make. The health plan proudly supports our active and healthy communities and has been your most trusted carrier for over 40 years. We are here for your family. We are here for your business. We'll be here for you when you need us most because your health coverage is our priority. The health plan, here for you. I'm Keith Powell, and going on right now is my Keith Says Yes Fest. I'm saying yes to lowering your payments, yes to your trade-in, regardless of condition, miles, even if you're still making payments. My Keith Says Yes credit approval process helps me say yes, you're approved. So if you want new Chevys, yes. New Fords, yes. Lifetime warranty, yes. Come see me, Keith Powell, at Yes Chevy and Hurricane and Yes Ford in Huntington. Welcome back, everybody. Chris Kidd here with you on this Thursday afternoon for the beginning of the 2023 MEC Volleyball Championships. It's right now, Fairmont in this single elimination tournament looking to knock off the second seed out of the South Division this year, the University of Charleston. They have taken a two set to none lead, winning both sets 25 to 19 putting on a late flurry in order to get that second set that was so even all the way through. And right now, it's just been a cleaner match from Fairmont. They've only committed seven errors in this entire match, whereas UC has committed 16 thus far, nine in the first set, seven in the last set. And Fairmont has capitalized on that so far here today, but now UC has an uphill climb in front of them. Fairmont continue to apply the pressure. See if they can get a clean sweep here today to move into the semifinals tomorrow. Again, the winner of this game takes on the winner of Willing and Frostburg tomorrow at 2.30 in the semifinals. Later on tonight at 5 o'clock, we have West Virginia State University taking on Notre Dame. And at 7.30, it'll be West Liberty against Concord. So he goes in the middle, Skeen able to dig it out, now sets up Burrell into the middle. Fortner knocks it into the air over far side, and a little attempt, a little push attempt that time from Selkie. Can't find its way over. And the first point of the set goes to Fairmont State. Burrell in the middle, Selkie, her attempt goes over. Quick tap attempt put away by Zorro. Momentum just continues on here for Fairmont. Borelli 
Deep serve to the back line. Fortner works it into the middle. Quick attempt by Hoff and able to put it away. It's tough job there for Borelli to try and dig that up. Just couldn't get it into the air. And Charleston gets on the board for the first time here in the third set. Be Riley Hoff back to serve. Gets it back deep. Blocked in the air by Borelli over far side. Big time smash that time by Zero. We had not seen her really go after a ball like that all morning or afternoon long. But that time she put everything she had into it and just no chance for UC to try and get that back into play. Now Skeen will serve it back deep. Tough attempt there, but saved nicely. But over to Burnson, she smashes it, but blocked by Skeen. Back to the back line, that one's gonna miss long. And there you see why Skeen, one of the best defensive blockers in Division II and even in the country. She said she had the highest dig percentage on the year. Selkie. And now Zero had a tough angle on that one. Looked like she hit, caught the bar that time with the pole rather on the far side. And that will even things up at three apiece. And as you see club, they lead the conference in aces on the year. Really need to try and find a string of points here to get some momentum back. Zero with a strong hit. Now that one blocked twice up at net. Zero taps it over. Burnson. Sets it up over far side. Here comes Shepard. She's blocked up at net and put away. Azimba able to put it back right in the face of the UC blockers. And again, against Shepard, that's saying something, which is most much heat as she brings on every shot. And it'll be Dangerfield now back to serve with a 4-3 to three lead for Fairmont. This one goes back to Fortner. Set up far side and the middle. Nice save attempt by Borelli. Now over for Knobs. She goes after this one. Blocked back over. Blocked again. Blocked into the air. Crawls over and point over to Fairmont. Again, all these 50-50 points going the way of the White Falcons right now. Even with the good defense of UC that time, Fairmont catches the break. Dangerfield. Deep serve to Fortner, set up into the middle. Shepard goes after this one, and Steen unable to go back to get it. Again, her momentum was carrying her away from that ball. Shepard put it in a good spot. Five to four in favor of Fairmont. Avila back to serve for UC. In the middle to Borelli, now back far side. And, ah, big smash and puts it away off the hands of Shepard and Hernandez. Now give a two-point edge back over to Fairmont. And Jay Miller will check in. serves towards the near side to Burnson that goes towards the bench of UC and that one not able to be controlled and all the way to the back line there's no chance for Hoff that time and point to Fairmont seven to four now and we're looking to play add on here into the middle Hoff sets it up, now near side for Burnson. Her attempt blocked, Fortner saves it in the air. Burnson goes after another. Miller gets a piece of it. Now to Borelli, far side, this one's going to be hit into the middle, and nice spot chosen that time by Chloe McDaniel. It's McDaniel, 5'11 sophomore out of Bethel Park, Pennsylvania, getting her first put away. Long serve that time, misses from Miller, but she does her job. Gets three key points on her serve. Lead stands at eight to five for Fairmont. And this is a do or die set for the University of Charleston. It's Burnson, serves near side, blocked by Borelli. She'll get it back, smash attempt, blocked, blocked again. Fortner goes near side with it. This one will be put away. Nice spot chosen that time by Hoff. Got it right off the inner half of the right arm of the blockers. That'll close the lead back to two. Burnson back to serve once again. 
in first team all MEC on the season. And there's a big put away by Zimba. Again, she's come on in spurts here today, especially up at the net. She's had a lot of blocks for put away so far here this afternoon. Zimba goes over to Burnson. Now they set it up near side. Hoff finds a gap in the defense and puts it away. Nine to six now in favor of Fairmont here in the third set, already leading it two sets to nothing. Now here comes Emma Shepard. She had a big run of points in that second set that gave UC the lead. UC desperately needs that right now. Shepard strong serve, controlled. Push back, now Miller will have to get it back into play, but misses wide of the mark. Again, every time Shepard goes back to serve, if you're Fairmont, you're just kind of holding your breath right now because Shepard can take over a set in a hurry with her serve. As we said earlier, led the conference in aces on the season. Deep serve, and that one blasted by Miller. Another key point for UC. They crawl with him one now. Actually, they've even things up now at nine to nine. That's three consecutive points here for UC. Shepard now looking to give them the lead back. Turns it short this time. Block back over. Set up here for UC near side. Smash blocked. Steen tries to block it, but again, hit it with both hands. A double hit that time. And that'll be four consecutive points on Shepard's serve. So just like in the first set, Shepard getting hot from the service line, giving UC some hope here. This one smashed again. Miller blocks it into the air somehow. Dangerfield over for Borelli, taps it over. Saved by UC. Shepard over far side. Kill is put away. Five straight points now for the University of Charleston. And that's going to lead to a timeout with the lead now in favor of UC 11-9. We'll be back in 60 seconds as you're watching the MEC Volleyball Quarterfinals right here on the MEC Television Network. You. It's a small word, but at Fairmont State University, you are the focus of everything we do. Over 80 fields of study, hands-on classroom experiences, teacher mentors who challenge and guide you, our just right size lets you get involved right away and gives you a leg up on the competition when you start your career or into graduate school. You may be a small word, but to us, you are a pretty big deal. In fact, you're the biggest deal because at Fairmont State, it's all about you. The people here are fantastic. My classmates rock. I haven't met anybody that I don't like here. It is definitely a very diverse university. My roommates from Sweden, Germany, Caribbean, so many places. The academics has been stellar as well. The professors are very nice here. Every single person within the classroom feels appreciated. The campus is absolutely beautiful. Everything's a close, easy walk. I, I will recommend that this place to everyone. I feel so at home here. Here at West Virginia State University, Chris Kidd with you as we are here for the first of four quarterfinal matches on this Thursday afternoon in the MEC Volleyball Championships. Right now, Emma Shepard taking over this third set. She's won five straight points on her serve. Fairmont trying to end that here. Borelli, though, can't put it away. Now a chance on the near side. Smash block back over. UC able to keep it alive. Now Hoff goes after it again. Blocked, Steen saves it. Into the air, third attempt here. Barely just has to pop it over. UC's got them on the run over far side. Selkie, her attempt blocked, saved nicely by McDaniel. Now another attempt here for UC upcoming. They set it up over for Selkie again. Smashed, but blocked by Dangerfield. Steen comes over to save it. Long attempt here, just gonna have to be batted back over. These are the 50-50 points that have gone Fairmont's way all day, but not this time. Put away by Hall. In another grueling point, but this time you see able to come out on top of it. And that keeps Shepard at the service line, 12 to 9, in favor of the University of Charleston. Six consecutive points on Shepard's serve. Miller able to block it into the air, Dangerfield. Far side Borelli gets it back deep, saved by Bernstein. 
Now they set up Selkie again. Her smash goes long. And no, they're going to say it was touched. So that's going to give it back over to UC. And again, Shepard can turn a set around in a hurry. And she's done so here. It was 9-6 to six in favor of Fairmont. Keen gets it up nicely. Big smash up at net. Controlled, you see, with another chance. Burnson hits it far side. Skeen got a hand on it. And not going to be able to get there is Miller. Eight straight points now for UC. They have turned the tide of this match in a hurry. As Fairmont with a two-set to nothing lead. Looked to be moving in on a clean sweep here today. But now Emma Shepard. Changing things in a hurry. Another deep serve saved by Skeen. Now Miller's just going to have to bump it over. Shepard sets it up at Mr. Mark and put it over, but not able to put it away as Fairmont. Now another tough save. Dangerfield just gets it to Skeen. He's going to have to push it back. Now another chance here at net. Up for Hoff. She's blocked and put away by Fairmont. And that puts an end to eight consecutive points on Shepard's serve. It's given UC the lead. She was able to get six consecutive points in the second set, but Fairmont was able to fight it off and come back and win the set 25 to 19. That'll be Burrow to serve. Gets it back in that one just off the hands of Hoff, couldn't control it. And that'll be a quick, easy point for Fairmont. Approaches the line, low line driver, clips the net. Saved up into the air, far side, tipped in the air. Skeen got a hand on it. Now Burrow will push it back over. They set it up the near side as Hoff misses into the net. And point over to Fairmont. But again, you see that's the biggest question. Can they keep the momentum after Shepard was able to give it to them with those eight straight points, but now three quick points back over to Fairmont. Very deep serve. This was going to sail, and good eye that time by Hoff to let it go. Now some substitutions coming in here for UC as Hernandez will check back in, along with Regan McLean. And that'll put Hernandez at the service line. UC leading at 15 to 12, having to win this set to stay alive in this tournament. Scheme. Saves it far side for Zero, and Zero puts it away. She has another kill. She leads Fairmont in kills so far here today with 12, leading all players in kills with 12. 15 or 11 on the other side for Riley Hoff, leads UC. So it goes back deep. Hernandez pushes it back, trying to catch Fairmont out of position, almost did. Now over to Zero, she smashes, puts it back, deflected over to Burnson, now over near side. Hoff goes after it and over behind the opening while Fairmont was scrambling. That's really what Shepard does so effectively on her serve. She has so much force on it, you really can't control the point even after the first hit. And it was just so difficult for Fairmont to try and set anything up at net off of her serve. Nice low serve that time, dug out by Skeen over near side. Lovewood puts it back over. Now an opportunity here for UC. Tapped into the middle, popped into the air by Burrow. Now Skeen over far side for Zero. Zero, tough angle, able to put it away. That one looked to be going against her body, but was able to somehow rear back and catch it in the right spot. And Fairmont climbs back to within two at 16 to 14. This one comes near side, popped in the air by Hoff. Now over, tough. Put away that time by Selkie, and she's able to do so. You see, doing what they've not been able to do so far in either set, they're sustaining their lead. It remains at three here. They're close to late stages of the third set. Selkie, deep serve, set up the burrow. Now tapped over, Selkie got a hand on it. Now back over into the middle. Burrow sets it up far side. Zero, zero. Blocked up in the air. Selkie just puts it back over. 
Now they'll set up Zoro again. Goes after it. Tapped twice into the net. Somehow got back over by UC. Now here's an easy one into the middle for Zimba, who's able to find the opening. Long point that time, and the White Falcons able to claim it. They get back to within two now at 17 to 15. It'll be Dangerfield back to serve for Fairmont. So the far side, Fortner has to go down to get it. Over, blocked at the net, but missing wide. As off, it's herself another kill. And McLean will check out along with Hernandez. Avila back to serve. Line drive. Popped into the air twice. And now they're going to have to put this over. Now an opportunity for UC. Tough setup that time at the net. Now that's going to give Fairmont a chance to get it over far side. Nob nah, able to put it away. That was a big point right there. UC had an opportunity to get out in front by four. But instead it swings back towards Fairmont. Now it'll be Jay Miller. She got three consecutive points on her serve earlier this set as Fortner able to control it. Gets it into the middle. Big time smash that time by Hoff, but blocked back. Going to be a long attempt here for Borelli. She's able to get it over to the far side. Fortner will set it up. Big hit this time. That one's going to sail, it looked like, and it did. And it was set up pretty well that time. A lot of momentum coming forward for Shepard, but just could not connect on it. Now the lead back to one, but Miller misses this one into the net. You see, leading it by two with their first team all-conference player, Sage Burnson, at the line to serve. Gets it back deep, set up the danger field, and over near side, big hit. Burnson able to save it. Fortner over for Hoff. Deep smash, but Miller able to pop it into the air. Now they set up Borelli. Tough jump that time. Couldn't quite get her momentum down. Now here's Hoff with a chance. Blocked back over. Blocked back over again. Steen able to get it into the air. Sets it up. Zimba tries to tap it over, but misses off the top of the net. She's been so successful with that all afternoon long, but that one just wouldn't crawl over for her. And you can see on a replay, she had the right idea that time. Found an opening in the defense. It just wasn't able to execute, and now a three point lead for UC. Burnson at the serve. Dangerfield tries to shovel it over quickly. Fortner able to get it. Nice Dangerfield sets it up, skiing far side to Borelli. She goes up, her smash is blocked, and that's going to fall in. Great defense at the net by UC that time able to set that up. It's Hernandez and Shepard there for the block. We'll be back after this timeout as you're watching the MEC Volleyball Championships here on the MEC TV Network. Choosing health coverage for your family, your employees, and your company is one of the most important decisions you can make. The health plan proudly supports our active and healthy communities and has been your most trusted carrier for over 40 years. We are here for your family. We are here for your business. We'll be here for you when you need us most because your health coverage is our priority. The health plan, here for you. What are you working for? Do you want to pursue your athletic potential while earning a degree that will benefit you for a lifetime? Do you want to play at the highest level in your sport? Do you want to be a champion? That's what the proud members of the Mountain East Conference are advancing toward every day. Providing opportunities and pursuing excellence. The Mountain East Conference. 21 to 17, UC leads it here in the late stages of the third set in a do or die set for the University of Charleston and their season. Chris Kidd with you as Fairmont has claimed the first two sets, 25 to 19 in each. Burnson serves it low, Skeen digs it out. Far side Borelli just has tapped that over. Skeen in the right spot though, able to save it. Now to Zimba, she puts it away. Fairmont. Hanging in here in this third set. 
Seen Simba again finding the right opening as she's done so often here this afternoon. Now she'll be the one to go back to serve. This one goes far side. Burnson able to block it up. Now over to Hoff. Hoff, big smash and off the hands of Miller. You see now with a four point lead and it's Emma Shepard to the back line who changed this set around with Fairmont leading at nine to six, claimed eight straight points on her serve. Now after the run she's had today on her serve. Now Fairmont needs to try and find a run of their own if they want to come back in this set, trailing it by three. Burrow serves it back, Burnson. Gets it over far side for Hoff, blocked up at net. Miller sets it up, Burrow far side to Borelli into the middle and we get a whistle. And a touch at net, and that's going to give the point over to Fairmont. That closes the gap to two now at 22 to 20. From first to 25, leading by two, claims the set. Claims the set. Burrow, back to Hoff. They set it up near the net for Selke. She's blocked, tapped into the air. Saved by Burrow. Zero's just going to have to push it back, and no one there, but it misses wide of the mark. Ooh, and you know that UC was holding their breath there <laughs> as that ball came by. Let's see again. Yeah, Fortner had a good eye on it, but that was still very close for comfort if you were UC. Hernandez will serve. Low line driver, driver Skeen able to get it. Zero now puts it away up at net. And that keeps Fairmont in the game here in this third set. Trailing at 23 to 21 now. Morelli back to serve for the White Falcons. This one's short to Burnson. Coughs back over. An opportunity here for Fairmont at the net. Ludwig is blocked. Set up again, this one shoveled over, and that one goes in. As Burrow saw the opening and went after it quickly. Good eye by her that time, and now the lead is down to one. Really? Back to Burnson, set up far side. Smash blocked it, net, but that's going to miss wide of the mark. Two set points for UC to try and push this to a fourth set. Off, back to serve. This one coming back deep. Borelli has to push it forward. Now over far side for Zero, and that's going to miss long. And UC has claimed the third set, 25 to 22, to keep their hopes alive here at West Virginia State University. We'll be back after this break for the start of set number four as you're watching the MEC Volleyball Championships right here live on the MEC Television Network. In NCAA Division II, student athletes leave a lasting impression on their communities. That's because Division II student athletes want to make a difference and truly be part of their surrounding communities. Through community engagement, thousands of student athletes from various backgrounds interact with community members who view them as role models. This interaction leaves a positive and perhaps even life-changing impression on all those involved. In Division II, we rise to the opportunity and make community engagement ours. I'm Keith Powell, and going on right now is my Keith Says Yes Fest. I'm saying yes to lowering your payments, yes to your trade-in, regardless of condition, miles, even if you're still making payments. My Keith Says Yes credit approval process helps me say yes, you're approved. So if you want new Chevys, yes. New Fords, yes. Lifetime warranty, yes. Come see me, Keith Powell, at Yes Chevy and Hurricane and Yes Ford in Huntington. Choosing health coverage for your family, your employees, and your company is one of the most important decisions you can make. The health plan proudly supports our active and healthy communities and has been your most trusted carrier for over 40 years. We are here for your family. We are here for your business. We'll be here for you when you need us most because your health coverage is our priority. The health plan, here for you. 
What are you working for? Do you want to pursue your athletic potential while earning a degree that will benefit you for a lifetime? Do you want to play at the highest level in your sport? That's what the proud members of the Mountain East Conference are advancing toward every day. Providing opportunities and pursuing excellence. The Mountain East Conference. Welcome back, everybody. Chris Kidd here with you as we are getting set for set number four here from West Virginia State University as UC able to come back in the third set to cut this to a one-set game after Fairmont claimed the first two sets, 25-19, to 25-22 in that third set. And again, Charleston doing a much better job cutting down on errors in that third set. Again, we mentioned that they had nine in the first set, seven in the second set, only five in the third set whereas Fairmont had six in the second set. So, again, that's going to be part of the bit, part of the plan going forward, obviously, if you're both sides, who can least harm themselves as things get tight here now that we've entered a fourth set. It's Fairmont trying to pull off the upset for the second time this year of UC. And UC only had four conference losses all year, but one of them came to this Fairmont club comes in here at 17 and 14 on the season, third in their division, whereas UC was second in their division, 24 and nine mark on the year. It'll be Fairmont to serve to start this fourth set. Burrow gets one back deep, blocked up. Hernandez controls the far side, big smash. Able to be saved by Fairmont. Now Borelli will have to push it into the middle. Up ahead, Hernandez sets it up far side. Hoff taps it over, and that'll fall into no man's land. And first point of the set goes to UC. You can sense the momentum shift now after that third set. Again, Fairmont having some looks of worry on their side for the first time today. Off a low line drive, Borelli able to dig it out, but not able to get it over as that was a tough attempt on the far side and Lovewood just couldn't pop it over. The first two points of the set go over to UC. Off in the middle for Steen. Burrow bumps it over for Zero, taps it over, but burns in there. Get it back over near side. Selkie pig smash, and it's a quick 3-0 lead here in the fourth set for UC. It's Riley Hoff getting the job done on her serve to get things started here. And 25 aces on the year, third best on the team. Spirelli, strong hit, but saved by Hoff. Nice job by Hernandez getting that back into position to Burnson. Nice save, though, by Fairmont. Now we got a whistle and point over to UC. Four to nothing. The quickest start of any set for either side so far here today. Off another deep serve, but this one's going to sail long. And Fairmont looking to try and stop the bleeding right now. Favored UC club now starting to play like it. Borelli, deep serve. They'll set it up near side for Selkie, but now it's going to be over to UC. Or excuse me, Fairmont. That'll cut the gap in half here. Borelli set to serve once again. She's had a strong day. The king kills for Fairmont, and that one will miss off the hands. No, you're fine. <laughs> of one of the defenders there. Sorry, that ball was coming dead at me and Hernandez crashed into our scores table. She's very polite though, she apologized. And much more than I would. She's in a much more tense situation than I am over here. That one blocked off the of Burnson smash attempt. Now back over, nice save by Hernandez that time. Now Burnson with another chance. This one popped into the air. Saved towards the far side. Zero goes after it, blocked up at net and that'll go in. What a play that time at net by Selkie. And that'll give UC a two-point lead again. Low 
serve. It will be dug out along the far side. Knob goes after it, but she's blocked at net by Shepard. Now they set it up for Steen. She just has to pop it back into play. Now Hernandez back over for Shepard. Big smash dug out by Steen once again over the far side, but unable to get it over. And it's a 6-3 to three lead now for Charleston. And then Steen just so effective for Fairman on those digs. Again, I looked at it. She had 600... Over 600 digs on the season, 601 to be exact, nearly 200 more than the next closest player in this game for either side. Now Hoff, strong hit in the middle, but caught it a little short that time off a of wrist. And that'll burrow, burrow itself into the net. Point over to Fairmont. Six to four, now the score. And now back to serve. Again, had a career high eight consecutive service aces against Salem in their final regular season match. Trying to get on a run of that here, and there's a good start to it. That's set up right in the middle for Zero, and she'll put it away once again. That brings Fairmont back to within one now at six to five. able to dig that one over towards far side. Burns and smash off the hands of two Fairmont defenders and point to UC. It's going to bring Hernandez and Avila back into the contest. As it'll be Avila back to serve for UC. able to block it back up. Now over near side for Zero. She's able to get a hard smash off up towards the net, but Hoff couldn't clear it. And Fairmont closes back to within one at seven to six. So Burrow. And Zero will check out as Dangerfield will check in to serve. Low line drive, dug out by Hoff. Now over far side, Burnson smashed up at net, blocked into the net twice, trying to get it back over. Now Burnson able to get it back, but there's Steen once again in the middle for <laughs> Borelli, and she's able to find the hole in the defense. Again, such tough back and forth points right now on both sides. And we're all even at seven apiece, so that quick burst from UC to start the set, jumping out four to nothing. Fairmont's erased it. For the time being, a Shepard big smash block, blocked again, set up by Dangerfield. Tough play for Nob, but she'll get it back deep. She'll set it up far side for Burnson. Tries to find it down the line and does so. Again, great job by her, seeing Fairmont scrambling and able to get it to where they weren't that time for the put away. It'll be Burnson. Serve now with an eight to seven lead for UC. This one turned back deep, blocked a couple of times, just gonna have to put this one back over. Shepard sets it up, far side. Hoff goes after it, blocked it net, blocked up again, but into the net went Fairmont that time, trying to carry it up. That'll give UC the lead back up to two at nine to seven. and had a nice stretch of points herself on her serve back in the third set. This one knocked sky high. It will be saved. Fortner has to shovel it over. Comes in short. Now a tough attempt here over far side. And Fortner, another nice dig. Able to set up Burnson in the middle. Her shot blocked by Borelli. Back over for Knob. Her smash down the line. Almost took off Avila's head, but she's able to save it. Now another nice save back over near side. Zimba goes after it. She'll miss wide. Tough point on both sides, and UC comes out on top in this one. 10 to seven now in favor of UC as Burnson goes back to serve yet again. And she had 43 service aces on the year. She's had a strong run here in the second and third set so far. Davila gets it over Hoff. She's blocked back in on the near side as that finds the line. End of eight now in favor of UC. 
They've led the entire way so far here in this fourth set. It's Miller. Serves it into play. They get it over near side. Hernandez taps it up. It's saved by Fairmont. Back over Borelli. She's blocked. They set it up once again. Far side smash, and that'll go through. And this Fairmont club has been under tiered all day long. They just continue to battle and battle and battle. <laughs> now Miller serving out on this into the net. That's the fourth one she's missed into the net today. It's been feast or famine whenever she's come in to serve. She's had several where she's had good stretches of service games, winning three and four points in a row. But then she's had four that have dipped into the net on her. So now here comes Shepard. Had the strongest serving game here today of any player, and it continues. There's another big one that grazes off the hands of Skeen. And that's going to draw a timeout here about midway through the fourth set with UC in the lead, 12-9 in the fourth set. We'll be back after this break as you're watching the MEC Volleyball Championships right here on Video Productions and the MEC TV Network. Choosing health coverage for your family, your employees, and your company is one of the most important decisions you can make. The health plan proudly supports our active and healthy communities and has been your most trusted carrier for over 40 years. We are here for your family. We are here for your business. We'll be here for you when you need us most because your health coverage is our priority. The health plan, here for you. I'm Keith Powell, and going on right now is my Keith Says Yes Fest. I'm saying yes to lowering your payments, yes to your trade-in, regardless of condition, miles, even if you're still making payments. My Keith Says Yes credit approval process helps me say yes, you're approved. So if you want new Chevys, yes. New Fords, yes. Lifetime warranty, yes. Come see me, Keith Powell, at Yes Chevy and Hurricane and Yes Ford in Huntington. Shepard back to serve out of the timeout. Chris Kidd here with you. 12 to nine, Charleston leads it in the fourth set. Fairmont leads it two sets to one in this quarterfinal of the MEC Volleyball Championships. Shepard dumps it over, block up at net, smashed away there by Borelli, I believe. Got her hands on it at the last second. And yes, it was Borelli once again. They're on the put away. She's got 12 kills now for the match. Zimba to serve it. Bernson able to control it. Gets it over for Hoff. Smash into the middle. Somehow Zimba able to control that as it pops back over. Now they get to Hernandez, but her attempt misses short. It looked like she just missed time to jump a little bit that time. And now the lead back down to one. See it here. Now it looked like she was actually going for the angle that time away from the blockers, but just couldn't quite get it to the spot she was going for. Zimba puts a little action on that, a little side spin over to Hoff. And Hoff able to find the opening as she taps it into the middle. Those are such effective plays right there. Instead of just going for the big kill sometimes, just finding the little areas of court that are unattended. Often the best and most effective plays on either side. Fernandez. Gets it to Miller, but Miller can't control it. And now the lead back to three here for UC. UC trying to force a fifth and deciding set, just as these two teams had back in the regular season on October 14th that Fairmont was able to win. In the middle, Burnson blocks it up. Far side smash goes through as Hoff gets another kill. kill. See a nice setup off Burnson able to dig that out. And then Hoff just coming with straight gas that time. Gets her 17th kill of the game, leading all players. Miller blocks this one up. Dangerfield back over far side. Big run and go that time for Borelli. And she had a ton of momentum coming into that shot. And she's able to put it away. 15 to 12, UC leads it. In set number four, set one and two, both went to Fairmont, 25 to 19 on both occasions. 
UC able to dig out a tight 25-22 affair in the third set. That one didn't quite get all of it was McLean, but struggling to get <laughs> into the point here is Fairmont, but they finally do. Now the Selkie, and that's a nice sidewinder there by Selkie. She didn't try and kill that one, just spun it back towards the middle. And that gets Fairmont back out in front by four. And you can see the movement on that ball that Selkie put on it in order to get it into that opening. Off the serve and hard control that time for Borelli, but finally does. Zuro just has to push it back over, didn't have the angle. That'll set up Bernson, but she doesn't quite have the angle. This has a tough setup. Now back over far side for Zuro. First shot blocked and unable to be controlled that time by UC. And Fairmont hanging around here in this fourth set. You see, it's felt like they've controlled the majority of it. Here they are still within three at 16 to 13. Quick smash that time by Hoff up at net again. Able to find the opening. Actually, it's McLean who was able to get that one. See it here. She just took it fast seeing that she had the opening over along the left side. Selkie, good serve that time. Gets it over far side. Those zero smash. Block in the air by Bernson. Over far side now, big wind up by Bernson, but able to be dug out. Now to Zuro, her shot blocked up at net, but into the net. 17 to 14 in favor of UC. And Steen now back to serve. Fortner blocks it up. Push it far side for Bernson. She's blocked and saved though on back end that time by Hoff and going to whistle. And points going to go over to Fairmont. And I think they're trying to say that it was a fourth attempt that time by UC or it touched hands four times. And Hernandez pleading her case. But it'll go Fairmont's way. They draw back to within two at 17 to 15. And down low and Fortner unable to get it to Steen. Gets Fairmont back to within one now. Again at 42 aces on the season, which is the eighth highest total in the league. And she's picked up a couple of big ones and here's another one. Tied up at 17 apiece in a set that you see has led wire to wire so far. We'll be back in 60 seconds as you're watching the MEC Volleyball Championships right here on the MEC Television Network. What are you working for? Do you want to pursue your athletic potential while earning a degree that will benefit you for a lifetime? Do you want to play at the highest level in your sport? Do you want to be a champion? That's what the proud members of the Mountain East Conference are advancing toward every day. Providing opportunities and pursuing excellence. The Mountain East Conference. Being a champion takes more than skill, more than endless drills, more than using your head. Being a champion takes the heart to give it your all, the agility to thrive from any angle, and the relentless drive to be the best. Welcome to Division Two, where the pursuit is yours to create, and the question isn't. The last three points have gone the way of Fairmont to tie up this fourth set. Looking to take the lead for the first time, Zoro block. She went for the kill. Now they'll come back over to Shepard. Big smash, and it's blocked right back over. Shepard went for it all that time and was met at net. And Fairmont has their first lead of the fourth set and are now seven points away from upsetting Charleston for the second time this year. Steen short serve. Fortner comes up for it. Now they set it up far side, and a big put away that time by McLean. Ties it back up at 18 apiece now. 
Every point now going to be so crucial on whether or not we go to a fifth and deciding set or if Fairmont's able to put things away here. It'll be Avila. Serves it back deep, and that might have went long, but Fairmont touched it. Borelli lost track of where she was that time. That ball looked to be certainly going long. But it'll be a point for UC instead. Let's see if that's a turning point now. Now short serve, able to be dug out that time. Zero hits it back over to Fortner. Set up, back over the near side. That one didn't quite catch all of it, did Shepard. Now here's a short one. Zero has come up for it, and she's able to put it away. Nice angle on that tip in order to tie this game back up at 19. And you see it right here again, just able to get it off the inside hand of Shepard. Now we're locked up at 19 apiece with Dangerfield serving. Comes back deep, set up far side, burns some big smash. Somehow Skeen got a hand on that. Now back over near side, Knob goes after him. She'll put it away. Could that be a game changer? My goodness, Skeen is just so good on her digs. You can see why she's the leader in the conference. Again, 601 on the year, by far the most. Nice low serve that time. Good save by Fortner. Now Shepard tips this one over. Skeen there, able to get it. Now back over near side, Knob tips it, but there's Burnson. Now, tense time here if you're UC. Into the middle, and Hoff misses into the net. And a set that UC jumped out four to nothing in. And controlled most of the way. Now it's Fairmont, four points away from the upset. Will they do it? We'll find out after this break as you're watching the MEC Volleyball Championships right here on the MEC Television Network. What are you working for? Do you want to pursue your athletic potential while earning a degree that will benefit you for a lifetime? Do you want to play at the highest level in your sport? Do you want to be a champion? That's what the proud members of the Mountain East Conference are advancing toward every day. Providing opportunities and pursuing excellence. The Mountain East Conference. Choosing health coverage for your family, your employees, and your company is one of the most important decisions you can make. The health plan proudly supports our active and healthy communities and has been your most trusted carrier for over 40 years. We are here for your family. We are here for your business. We'll be here for you when you need us most because your health coverage is our priority. The health plan, here for you. How things have shifted here in the last couple of minutes with Fairmont now claiming the lead 21 to 19. Burnson, big smash, can't put it away. An opportunity for Fairmont, but no. Big break here for UC as it'll go over to them now, trailing it by one. And it'll be Burnson back to serve. Two sets to one in favor of Fairmont right now. You see claiming the third set, trying to extend this to a fifth and deciding, but they trail it by one. Far side, Hoff blocked back, but that's going to miss wide. And now you see fighting back here. Burnson, the only first team all MEC member on this UC club. She's had a strong serving day. Can she continue it here? Goes back to Knob, set up the danger field. Now to the middle, this one blocked in the air by Hernandez. It'll go back, Burnson will just have to push it back over. Knob sets it up into the middle. Zimba gets it off the hands of a defender, but no, missed it wide. So you see now comes back with three straight points and leads it 22 to 21. Zimba tried to angle that, but couldn't come up with it. Burnson. Into the middle, saved by Borelli. Now over near side, Knob, nah, big smash blocked, and that's going to go wide. 22 all now. Both teams three points away from claiming this set. And just joining us, have to win by two. First team to 25 with a lead of two, wins the set. Miller back to serve. Again, it's been up and down for her today, but she gets this one back deep. 
Over towards the near side, tough play, but there's Shepard with a big put away. It looked like that one might fade into the net at first, but Shepard got up to attack it at just the right time, and she's the right person you want back serving in this spot. Two service points away from UC, pushing this to a fifth and deciding set, and Shepard has been red hot from the line today. This one back, Skeen able to punch it forward. Just gonna have to get this back. We're really able to do so. Shepard over. Selkie blocked back in. What a play up at net. Pack at 23 apiece. And Selkie had the opportunity at net. But it was Borelli and Zimba there once again. And Zimba has just been outstanding at net today. She has eight blocks and seven kills. Now it is set point match point the rest of the way in this set. Hoff puts it away and it's set point for UC. Good set up there far side and Hoff able to avoid the blockers. In order to put UC on the brink of sending this to a fifth and deciding set. Hernandez to serve. Skeen blocks it, now over far side, Borelli puts it up, nice hand there by Burns and keeps it alive, Selke has to punch it back, Dangerfield into the air, Skeen, near side, another attempt for Borelli but can't put it away, now over far side for Hoff, she'll tip it over, blocked and not going to get there is Skeen and we're all even at two sets apiece and it'll go to a fifth and deciding set here in our first match of the MEC Volleyball Quarterfinals. We'll step aside for a break and be back for a race to 15 to see who moves on to tomorrow at 2.30 as you're watching the MEC Volleyball Championships right here on the MEC Television Network. In life, things aren't scripted. If you're an athlete, we need people like you and translate those skills to officiate. You can get a lot out of it. It happens in every town, in every game. We never have a perfect game, but the rewards always outweigh the negativities. Choosing health coverage for your family, your employees, and your company is one of the most important decisions you can make. The health plan proudly supports our active and healthy communities and has been your most trusted carrier for over 40 years. We are here for your family. We are here for your business. We'll be here for you when you need us most because your health coverage is our priority. The health plan, here for you. In NCAA Division II, community engagement is an initiative at all 25 national championships because student athletes want to give back while competing for a national title. Over the course of the year, Division II student athletes have an opportunity to leave a lasting impression in local communities throughout the country. Whether Division II student athletes are volunteering at hospitals, schools, after school care programs, foster homes, or retirement villages, they make a difference in the lives of others. In Division II, we rise to the opportunity and make community engagement ours. What are you working for? Do you want to pursue your athletic potential while earning a degree that will benefit you for a lifetime? Do you want to play at the highest level in your sport? Do you want to be a champion? That's what the proud members of the Mountain East Conference are advancing toward every day. Providing opportunities and pursuing excellence. The Mountain East Conference. Set number five coming up here from West Virginia State University in what has been a tense barn burner of the first match of four here today for the MEC Volleyball Championship. Chris Kidd with you. you look at set number four. Only three errors for Fairmont in the set. Seven for UC, but they were able to overcome them in order to come back and win the set when Fairmont was just four points away from it at 21 to 19. Now in a fifth set, it's just a race to 15. Again, no more 25. Again, first two sets were won by Fairmont, 25 to 19. The last two sets won 
by UC, 25-22 and 25-23. Now, again, the semifinals tomorrow will be at 5 and 7.30 instead of the 2.30 and 5 that we originally had. And the winner of this match will get either Willing or Frostburg, which are waiting in the wings right now. Originally scheduled for 2.30, but looks like it'll be a little later than that right now. And then we have West Virginia State going up against Notre Dame at approximately 5 p.m. later on today. And then the nightcap will be West Liberty and Concord at 7.30 p.m. But here we go. Who will move on to the semifinals tomorrow against Willing or Frostburg? We're going to find out in just a few moments as the race to 15 begins in this fifth set. Burrow. Gets it back deep, sets it up inside. McLean can't get it away from the defender. Now over to Borelli. She's blocked into the air, sets up Selke, taps it over, and she finds the opening first point to UC. A good block by Hernandez to help set that up, and then Fortner with good touch there just to get that high enough for Selke to find the angle she wanted. And Selke at six foot two, she can do a lot up there at net. That serve's gonna miss long though, it's off. Put a little too much on it. She's had a good service day, but that one missing wide of the mark, and now we're even at one apiece. And both teams have two timeouts here in this fifth and deciding set. Hernandez sets it up near side. Selke hits it off the net, it crawled around the net and ended up sailing wide. Ball just hung perilously there and just kept creeping across the net until it finally went wide. So Fairmont leads it two to one. Borelli gets it over. They set it up far side. Burnson couldn't put it away. Now over to Zero. Her shot misses long, and we're all even at two apiece. And starting to see the tightness on both sides with what's at stake here for both team seasons. Again, they went to five sets back on October 15th. With Fairmont winning the fifth and deciding set 15 to 10. Knob goes after one and she'll miss it long. So back-to-back -back errors for Fairmont and they've not had many here today. But two here in the early going of the fifth set. And that'll be Selkie to serve. Slow line driver dug out in the middle for Nav. She hits it right into Hernandez, who's able to block it back over. Skeen sets it up. Back over near side. Blocked again up at net. Burrow over for zero, and this time it will be put away. And you see, looking for a call here, but not going to get it. And we're all even at three apiece, the officials say. That'll be Skeen now to serve. Had a big service game in the fourth set that got Fairmont in the lead at the moment, but unable to hold it. Now Burnson comes with a run and go. Can't put it away as Skeen's there. Now over for Zero. She pops one over towards us, and that'll go out of play <laughs> as Shepard comes in and says hello to me. And I've gotten into way too much action over here courtside. It's, Hi, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Shepard and Hernandez have come over to say hey today, not because they wanted to, but just because of the action that's gone against them here in these late going. But there's a big smash up at net by McLean, right when UC needed it. And we're all even again at four apiece again, just like the fourth set, nip and tuck the entire way. And it'll be Avila back to serve now. Near side, Knob pops it over near side. Zero with a strong hit, put away. And gives Fairmont the lead back. That is 22 kills now on the game for Zero. She's just been so tough. On the other end, Hoff leads the way for Charleston to 20. Dangerfield serves it back. Hoff able to control it. We'll have to work it forward here. Burnson has her tent blocked. Another chance here. Fortner sets up Burnson again, taps it over, but there's Dangerfield in the area. Skeen sets it up near side. Knob goes after it. Tough cross-court shot, and it goes through. Knob 
Cobb able to connect after she missed long a moment ago, and now Fairmont has the first bit of breathing room for either side in this fifth set at six to four. Dangerfield, it's the Fortner, now they set it up far side, Burns and smash, goes off the hands of Steen and into about the seventh row. Six to five now in favor of Fairmont. That was a no doubter from Burnson. She had a couple blocked already in this set. She wasn't going to have it again. And now she'll get the serve, trailing by one. Near side knob. She's blocked up at net by Shepard, but they get it back. Shepard again blocked by Hernandez. Steen able to save it and punch it over by Dangerfield. Now over far side, excuse me, near side. Shepard goes after it. And she's claiming it was touched at net, and they get the call this time. And Shepard was vehement that that was tipped up at net, and she was able to get the call, and we're back all square at six apiece. Burnson, low-line driver, able to get dug out. That's going to be a tough play at net. Shepard able to pop it into the air. That'll set up Hoff on the far side down the line. And they give the point over, they say it touched the line. Fairmont claiming otherwise. Let's take a look at it here on our replay. And yeah, it looked like that was right on the line. And UC reclaims the lead at seven to six. Burnson who's had a strong day serving. Another nice one to the backside. Now over towards Nod and her smash off the hands of Avila. And we're back to all even again at seven apiece. This has been a fun match here today. Again, Fairmont, the underdog, coming in here at 17 and 14 on the year. You see at 24 and nine. Fairmont with the first two sets. You see clawing back in the last two tight sets. And now Shepard gives you see the lead back at eight to seven as we flip sides. Again, first one to 15 and a lead of two. We'll move on to the semifinals tomorrow to face either Willing or Frostburg. Now it'll be Shepard to serve. She has been so lethal all day long. The junior out of Plain City, Ohio, who said leads the conference in aces, 68 on the year. Step to the line here, and she had a run of eight straight service points in that third set when UC needed it so badly, trailing at nine to six at that point. Now can she get on a run here? Skeen somehow able to save that back over to Borelli, and a big put away there ties it up at eight. And as we said, if you're able to wipe Shepard's serve away in one attempt, that is a big time plus if you're Fairmont. And they're able to do it right here when they needed it badly. There's a deep serve, comes back. Controlled by Hoff, she'll get it back on the near side. Smash blocked by Miller, close to the net. Pushed back, and they're going to say point over to UC. And UC now holds a nine to eight lead. Be Maria Hernandez back to serve for the University of Charleston. Into the middle, Miller able to block it forward. Dangerfield far side, Borelli tough angle, able to get off a smash, but Burnson able to get it. Now to Hoff, taps it over, saved up by Borelli. Dangerfield gets it back near side and put away. Is it in? No, they say it missed wide. Daniel thought she had it at first, but instead they say it missed wide of the mark, and that'll give UC their first breathing room of this fifth set. And as low serve, Miller able to get it out, and now they're gonna say double hit. And UC now has a three-point lead at 11 to eight, and a timeout called by Fairmont, as UC trying to complete a two-set to nothing comeback. We'll be back after this as you're watching the MEC Volleyball Quarterfinals right here on the MEC Television Network. Being a 
champion takes more than skill, more than endless drills, more than using your head. Being a champion takes the heart to give it your all, the agility to thrive from any angle, and the relentless drive to be the best. Welcome to Division Two, where the pursuit is yours to create. 11 to eight, UC leads it here in the fifth set. Four points away from moving on to the semifinals, but Ludwig, big put away up at net. It's Fairmont back to within two. And that was much needed after the little run that UC has put on here in order to get some separation. And now it'll be Burrow back to serve for Fairmont State. Gets back beat to Hoff, set up into the middle, Hernandez. Now quick kill, but there's Steen there to block it back over far side. Tapped over, goes off the hands of Hernandez. Bernson gets it in the air. They're just gonna have to work it back over. Steen sets it up to Burrow. Now far side for Borelli, and she pushes it away. And right down the line and just overpowered Hernandez that time trying to block it. And that brings it back to a one-point game, and you see once time to talk it over. We'll be back in just a moment as you're watching the MEC Volleyball Championships here on the MEC Television Network. Choosing health coverage for your family, your employees, and your company is one of the most important decisions you can make. The health plan proudly supports our active and healthy communities and has been your most trusted carrier for over 40 years. We are here for your family. We are here for your business. We'll be here for you when you need us most because your health coverage is our priority. The health plan, here for you. What are you working for? Do you want to pursue your athletic potential while earning a degree that will benefit you for a lifetime? Do you want to play at the highest level in your sport? Do you want to be a champion? That's what the proud members of the Mountain East Conference are advancing toward every... 11 to 10 in favor of Charleston with Fairmont State serving here in the fifth set. Hernandez over far side, big smash right through the middle that time by Selkie. And gives you see a two point lead back. Again, she's been getting a nice run and go at net and being able to slice right through the defense here in these last two sets. And that'll be Hoff back to serve. Steen bots it forward. Now far side, Zero, who's had the most put aways here today, can't quite get this one. Selke blocks it back over, Steen has it. They'll work it back near side. Ludwig able to put it over, now gets blocked over by the shoulder of Burnson, but unable to find the mark. And now it's back to a one point game as Knob checks back in for Miller and Borelli will go back to serve. And the tied at two sets apiece. First two sets to Fairmont, last two to UC. Fifth and deciding set to 15 is the winner, and now we're all even at 12 apiece as that one misses into the net. You see it here, it was Selkie that time, went for the big smash again. But off the top of the net. Hernandez sets it up, and now Hoff misses into the net. Back-to-back -back errors for UC. And now a timeout call will keep things here. With Fairmont now in the lead at 13 to 12, as you see, has led the entire way of this fifth set. Minus falling behind two to one early and had a three point lead, but now Fairmont has crept back out in front. And in the first two sets for Fairmont, they had runs early in the set and then late in the set in order to win 25 to 19. The third and fourth sets were just dog fights back and forth with UC able to dig them out. And now here in the fifth set, Fairmont has fought back from three down to claim the lead now and are three points away from upsetting UC for the second time this year. So it'll be Borelli back to serve. Try and give Fairmont a little breathing room here. Come 
back to Hoff. They set it up to Hernandez. Now there's Burnson with a run and go. She's blocked and that'll go in. Big defensive play at net there for the White Falcons as Burnson had a great run and go, but there was Ludwig and company waiting on her. And now it is double match point for Fairmont. Our side tipped over, Skeen got a hand on it, saved into the air. Zero's just gonna have to push it over. They get it back over for Hoff. Now into the middle, smash into the middle, blocked in the air by Borelli. Now here comes Nob. her hit is going to miss just long. Oh, Nob had a great look at it to finish it right there, but just missed. And now Selkie will be serving to keep UC's hopes alive. Skeen blocks it. Burrow, far side for Zero. She's blocked and misses wide. Fairmont has pulled off the upset. Three sets to two and 15 to 13 in this final set as Zero, who had the most kills on the game, able to get one more, her 23rd of the game, the match her number, and give Fairmont a trip to the semifinals tomorrow against either Willing or Frostburg. We'll step aside for a break and be back to recap our first game right after this as you're watching the MEC Volleyball quarterfinals with us here on Video Productions and MEC TV. Choosing health coverage for your family, your employees, and your company is one of the most important decisions you can make. The health plan proudly supports our active and healthy communities and has been your most trusted carrier for over 40 years. We are here for your family. We are here for your business. We'll be here for you when you need us most because your health coverage is our priority. The health plan, here for you. In NCAA Division II, student athletes leave a lasting impression on their communities. That's because Division II student athletes want to make a difference and truly be part of their surrounding communities. Through community engagement, thousands of student athletes from various backgrounds interact with community members who view them as role models. This interaction leaves a positive and perhaps even life-changing impression on all those involved. In Division II, we rise to the opportunity and make community engagement ours. Welcome back everybody. Get here with you as we just saw a barn burner of a quarterfinal to open up this tournament with Fairmont State upsetting Charleston three sets to two. It was a tale of two games more or less in the first two sets going to Fairmont fairly decisively, 25 to 19. You see digging back, winning the last third and fourth sets and nail biters, 23, 22 and 25, 23. And then Fairmont coming back in the fifth and deciding set, winning at 15 to 13. And now they await the winner of our next game between Willing and Frostburg State. Again, the winners will face off at 7.30 p.m. tomorrow night here at West Virginia State University. As we also have two other games coming your way later on today, approximately five o'clock. It'll be the number one seed in the South, West Virginia State, taking on the number four seed in the North, Notre Dame College. And then in our nightcap at 7.30 p.m., it'll be the number two seed out of the Northwest Liberty, taking on the number three seed out of the South, Concord in order to claim that spot in the 5 p.m. semifinal tomorrow here from West Virginia State. Well, again, they put 40 minutes up on the board right now, clicking down 239, so at approximately 2.57, 2.58 p.m., we will have our start of our second game here today from West Virginia State University between Frostburg State and Wheeling to see who meets up with Fairmont State tomorrow in the semifinals. But again, it was a classic here in game number one, a great way to get things started. Hope to see more of it as we move along here the rest of this week on Video Productions and the MEC Volleyball Tournament. But for now, we're gonna step aside for about a 35 minute break and we'll be back for the start of Frostburg State and Willing at approximately 2.50 p.m. So don't go too far, folks, you wanna be back for hopefully another thriller here from Charleston, West Virginia, as you are watching the MEC Volleyball Championships with us right here live on Video Productions and the MEC Television Network.